Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your monthly tarot reading for October. Thank you so much for joining me today and this is a general reading that could help any sun, moon or rising Sagittarius sign so we can look at the cards and get a sense of what is going on for you so that you can plan accordingly. Okay, your awareness for the week. We have the Four of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So the Four of Swords is about taking a time out, really taking a breather from an event or situation that you're involved in. It may be very taxing on you. It may be very stressful. You may feel worn out. And this card shows up in a reading to tell you, don't forget to rest. Don't forget to take care of yourself. And don't forget to uh, give yourself the time alone or the solitude to be able to recover, to restore your energies, to re-energize. It's really to revitalize as well. You may come back to this situation with a fresh way of thinking, with uh, more energy to deal with it. It doesn't mean that because you take a time out that the situation is going to disappear. You're just coming back to it more restored and more ready to deal with whatever it is that you have to deal with. So with this four of swords, we have the six of pentacles and the six of pentacles. We see the man here handing out the coins to the young children. So the six of pentacles is a card of giving and receiving that in times in your life, there will be days when you are in a position to give and to help others. There will be other times when you really could use the support and you might need to ask for help and you may need to ask for something to help you get by. And there's no harm in doing so. And this card is, again, it's a reminder that sometimes circumstances can change quickly. And so when you're in a position to be able to give, then give. Uh, because you never know when you will need support. So this um, illustration here, the only thing that's a little interesting, that's always interesting, is the scales. Do we really help people by measuring what we're going to give them? Are we that precise that we are going to measure out how we're going to help you? I'm not so certain of that. Um, and I don't know if this is really ultimately about control, but you have people who need help. The, if you're in a position to help, help them for what they need and what they truly need because those tables could be turned. So awareness for the week, someone may need your support. You may have to support someone or you may need support as you're resting and recovering from something within your life that is uh, requiring you, requiring you to get some rest. Okay. So this is the guidance for the week. Okay. So the guidance of the week, we have the nine of rods or the nine of wands, and we have the page of rods. So we have some, rods or wand energy and this nine of rods we see this wounded warrior leaning on his wand and he's looking over off in the direction it's almost as if he's saying i'm ready for what's coming you know i'm still here i'm still standing i haven't laid down my wand i haven't walked away and i'm going to see this through regardless the nine of rods is almost at completion it's almost at 10. And so there's a real sense here of perseverance, of grit, of determination, of being protective and having to defend or protect your process, your thoughts, your actions, or you may be protecting someone within your family. And so, um, uh, interesting with the, with the row of, um, rods behind almost like this little protective you get a real sense of protection it's the protective barrier 
but still in the game and still ready to take on whatever comes his way, which you can use for yourself, which is you're ready to take on whatever comes your way. You're in position. You may be a little slightly bruised or battered, but you're still standing and you're still going to keep your eyes open. So with this nine of rods, here's the page of rods. And the page of rods represents this very youthful, uh, earnest energy. Often it could be someone who's young, as evidenced by this illustration. Young who wants to gain experience. Someone who wants to have more opportunities for adventure, to live life, to learn about life, to be active, to begin to use your personal power and really to develop and to grow. The page of rods is pages often bring opportunities or news. And so with the page of rods, there's a real sense of wanting to take action of wanting to get involved. You may be thinking of something to get involved with maybe a new hobby, a new line of work to study, you know, new travel plans. And there's just, you know, there's movement that you want to start it and to get going on it. So this, this energy and the excitement of starting it is right here. Okay. And finally for possible outcomes, we have temperance. And again, we get a sense here of the word balance of healing, of finding the harmony between your physical, your emotional, and your spiritual self. And we do that through taking care and resting. But uh, this angel here is kind of going with the flow with the water here. And temperance is about finding the moderate path of integration, of not overdoing it, not allowing yourself to get out of balance by going to extremes. So you have to be mindful and aware of the energies that you put out there. So this week we're getting a strong sense for you, Sagittarius, which is to find the balance that's right for you. The way to, to maintain your equilibrium that works best for you. Temperance is also uh, this major arcana card is also about paying attention to what the universe is trying to tell you or spirit or your angels, letting those messages come through. And then here, beautiful possible outcome of balance of protecting yourself, hanging in there, page of rods, this new uh, feeling of excitement of wanting adventure. And here's the two of cups and the two of cups is the potential of a truly wonderful and equal and balanced and harmonious relationship, loving, emotionally expressive, connecting on, on all levels. And some may say a rare type of union. When we see two of cups, we often think that those are people who belong together. There's no doubt about it. And so if you are single, you need to put yourself in positions to meet people and to have these opportunities to meet people. If you are in a relationship, there's always room to grow, to be more intimate, to be more expressive in how you relate to each other and to get to know each other better. This is a beautiful card and you can see the equality eye to eye, cup to cup, facing each other. This is the desire and the love between two people that is important and significant and has true emotional depth. So Sagittarius, we have some really wonderful cards for you this week and some ideas to think about of, of relationships and the importance of relationships of, um, showing grit and determination in whatever situations you find yourself in of asking for support if you need it providing support if you're able to and really focusing on rest and recovery and balance, finding the harmony 
and of all the elements of your life, physically, mentally, spiritually. Let's choose an Oracle card and we'll get a little more information for, uh, I would call this an affirmation for the week. Fogged in, go slow, take time. And perhaps that's a message that's relating to the balance and to the Four of Swords and Temperance, is wanting to take action and defending yourself that within here is to honor your own balance. You know, take care of yourself and the support to yourself as well is go slow and take time. And finally, let's choose a card for love and we'll see what we have for love. Trust, you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. So trust your actions, trust your heart, trust that you're doing all the things necessary to help yourself this week through balance, through exploring and devoting time to relationships, to finding the passions and the new things that are exciting for you that bring back again, enthusiasm in your life. So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. And I wish you a great week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.